Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm back with the part two. Um, we may be using some cards today. I'm mostly going to be doing this off of my intuition. If you guys are new here, my name is Charlotte. I'm the owner of Lottie Lux LLC and Venus Conjure. We do readings, Reiki, and rituals. So definitely check everything out in the description below. And if you would like to get your own reading done, everything is in the description below. Okay, so we're going to be continuing on this reading of Justin Bieber. I know I left people with like more questions than answers. Um, okay, I'm looking at a photo of him. Guys, I'm getting like past lives from him. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm bringing out these past life cards. I don't usually do this. This is actually like my personal stash of, of um, oracle cards. But I'm getting like... Just off my intuition, I'm getting that he was an emperor in a past life. And I am feeling like this had to do with a French war. I'm hearing the word renaissance. I do feel like he had a past life where he might have been a soldier as well. I do see that he has had multiple past lives in France. I don't know if anybody else catches that. But I am getting uh, a very, like, Napoleon outfit, Napoleon um, attire uh, vision from him. Okay, also getting high, like a highly ranked soldier energy, okay? Okay, I do feel like this person also helped other people. He is harboring something from a past life as well that he needs to forgive himself from. So, looking at this card, I'm seeing a baby dove and a mother dove. I spoke about some of his mother issues in the past. I do feel like he really needs to forgive and move on from his childhood. Not necessarily move on from his mother and not necessarily forgive his mother. However, he needs to move past this so he can really start to heal. Yeah, definitely somebody that was of a high ranking in a past life. Knighthood, okay? Okay, guys. I'm going to put these away. Just wanted to give you guys like a little bit of a past life reading on Justin. Again, I'm just getting this energy of like being manipulated by whatever church he is in. Sorry, I'm putting some protection oil on me. Just because the energy is a little bit heavy. Automatically, I do feel like this person, he has trust issues. I'm seeing that people have taken advantage of him. I feel like he's very used to being taken advantage of, uh, especially in the field that he's in, okay? I also am hearing that he doesn't even want to be as famous as he is. I feel like it's really taking a toll on his mental health. And it's, I'm also hearing the words, this room, my relationship, the amount of fame that this person's in. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I know I need to close that. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I am seeing that he feels that his relationships in the past, even private relationships, have failed because of the amount of fame and the amount of pressure he's always under. I don't feel like he thinks that he can maintain a true loving relationship. And because of that, he... I don't necessarily feel like he gives his relationships or, I mean, he's married now, his wife, 110% of his heart. I feel like he is very much, like, bruised and has not necessarily went into his healing process yet. Yeah, he got priest priestess card twice already. So I do feel like this person, uh, he, he wants to break through. He wants to have a rebirth. However, emotionally, he's not there yet. But I do feel like this is something that he wants in the future. Yeah. I am getting that the amount of money he's making is causing blockages from him self-diving, him going into uh, emotional issues that he has and increasing his awareness of people around him. I'm not going to use the cards anymore, okay? Okay, let me see another picture of him. Sorry, I know it's super loud. <laughs> okay, I feel like Justin also 
he is an indigo child if you don't know what an indigo child is i think i have videos on my channel about what indigo indigo child children are also star seeds i feel like he is an indigo child and i also feel like he has had many past lives on a different planet i'm more so seeing that he came into our earth around the renaissance period and i i also feel like there may have been a relationship between napoleon and uh justin bieber i'm feeling like a strong pull to france and I'm, I'm also seeing that this person uh was short in a past life and was short in multiple past lives as a human okay i don't know if for instance this person is short in this life i don't know how tall he is okay 100 percent disclaimer i don't know how tall he is but i'm getting the energy that he was short in the past life okay yeah i do feel like he is in a transitional space right now and he does want to move on from a lot of the negative feelings he's harboring i do feel like he had a soulmate and he lost her but i'm gonna explain i feel like we all have many soulmates we all do have many soulmates this is just one of his soulmates that he has lost and um this relationship is a completely over now he walked away from this person because he couldn't handle it anymore he couldn't be the person that he wanted to be and he was just not in a good place when this ended there is going to be karma for the decisions he's made i kind of feel like he already is living in his karma He got karma and he got the judgment card. I'm also getting the feeling that he's been trying to get somewhere fast, but he doesn't know where he's going. A lot of people are around him that are disguised as people that are close to him that are, are just using him. And he's so blindsided because he I don't even feel like he really gets that emotionally invested into relationships anymore. So he doesn't even notice it. There was somebody that was his divine counterpart. This person's not in the picture anymore. And a lot of witch energy around him as well. There are people in the past that have done witchcraft on him. Okay, as far as career, I do feel like he is going to continue. Okay, wow, I just got a really intense download. Okay, so I feel like this person... Paralleling to what when people say that they have holy relics and they become famous or they become rich or whatever it is, they become something that they weren't necessarily were, you know, had the fate to be. They become better than what they were supposed to. This person, he may have royal blood. He may have like, I don't know, he could have a holy relic. I don't know, but he has something that keeps him in fame. Okay, this is like energetic, like this is i wouldn't even call this magic this is something else this is like more powerful than doing a bunch of candles trust me and that will always keep him famous it may have it may have to do with him coming from a royal bloodline or this is something that i necessarily don't have any knowledge on other than either he's from a royal bloodline he was gifted something or something else happened here and we're not gonna get into all that i can't disclose what it is but this person he has a some type of energetic barrier on him making sure that he's constantly going to be rich and famous okay all right guys that's all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this reading let me know what you think in the comments below okay bye